made it to Morocco. It's pretty fresh. Uh, conditions for camping are questionable, but we're going to head up into the mountains. So we're just letting down the um, tire pressures. We're at the start of the trail now, and those mountains up there is where we're headed. Hopefully in about two to three days, we're going to be catching up with our friend Hamid. But it's as cold as a dead man's nipple out here, so we're going to get the fuck into the cab and get on the road. Okay. Come on, mate. <laughs> so we just came across our first lot of chances. Drove through a small settlement and came out the other side of it and thought something was a wee bit of mess. Um, looked in the rear vision mirror and started noticing stuff getting thrown off the side of the back of our truck. A young man had climbed onto the back and was tying, tying everything. So we wanted our clothes rack. I think he wanted everything to get his hands on. <laughs> we've been consulting our handy dandy guidebook on our way through the High Atlas Mountains, but we've just reached a small problem in that our road has turned into not just a puddle, but a legitimate lake. It is super deep. There is no way we're going in there. What's going on over here, Kristen? I'm sad. Why? What happened? We got to a road that was like totally washed out from a flood or something, and then you said, let's drive through the river, even though the river was really scary, and we have no service, and there's no one around, and it was so bumpy. <laughs> I'm just sad, but it's also funny. <laughs> and um, it was so bumpy that our switch on our water tank switched on and drained like every last drop of our water into the boot. So everything is fucking shit. <laughs> After yesterday's debacle, we, uh, we, we had to get up off the valley floor because it started pouring down with rain. We, um, we, we got the truck unstuck, got onto higher ground and camped up at night. Woke up in the morning to the sound of some two locals that had broken down. So we ended up fixing them up and getting them back on the road. They took us back to their house and we ended up having breakfast at their place. We're back on the road and hopefully we'll be seeing Hamid later tonight for a nice tajik. How's your traction, Oscar? Jesus, there is absolutely fuck. There's actually nothing. Look at this road, it's just a layer of ice. Is this the most scenic poo you've ever done, Oscar? <laughs> We're definitely out of the mountains now. Long gone is that snow. We finally made it. We're in the bustling metropolis of Mizuga city center and we're about to meet our friend Hamid for some desert action. Made it up rivers, over mountains to here in the desert, and for once the Land Rover didn't break down on us. Until next time. Bye! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>